Okay, if five boys share the cost of a meal equally, so which means that uh, there are five person who are sharing the cost of the meal. So there's a method that we can use, which is to draw a diagram. When calculating the amounts for each share, the boy who did the calculation make a mistake by dividing the cost of the meal by four person. So there are only four person who are paying. Then the fifth person is not paying. Uh, so because of that, each boy paid three dollar sixty cents more. So where are the boys who are paying three dollar sixty cents more? So the first boy pay more money, and the second boy also pay more money. The third one is the same, and the fourth one, right? The fourth boy also pay more money, uh, but the last person is not paying any money. So, what should be the correct amounts for each share? Now, if you look at the diagram, uh, the four person are paying three dollars sixty cents more. Uh, but is this money supposed to be paid by each of them? No, they are not supposed to be paying this extra money. So, who is supposed to pay this extra money? So, all this money is supposed to be paid by by the last boy, right? So all this money that you see, they are supposed to be paid by the, uh, by the last boy. So if I draw something like that, so which means that, uh, how much is the last boy supposed to pay? You take three dollar sixty cents and you times four. So the last boy is supposed to pay, uh, fourteen dollar forty cents. So which means that everyone is supposed to pay fourteen dollar forty cents. So what should be the correct amounts for each share? So the correct amount for each person is supposed to be fourteen dollar forty cents.